to YouTube just to make sure we're live because I don't trust myself still. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I always, always mess up in like one way or another. It's human. It's okay. Awesome. Uh, I can hear an echo. We're live. Uh, hey, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. If you're watching the live stream, you missed something awesome uh, because... Kaggle Grandmaster and Radha Altiano, who's been putting out amazing kernels every month. The frequency keeps changing, but she's been doing amazing stuff. And I've always been curious. We've, I've had the chance to interview her a few times. And I've been curious, how does she go about doing this process? So I gave her a challenge of teaching us how she does it. That's what we'll get to learn today. And we'll be working on the Hidden Gems competition by... Another grandmaster, Heads or Tails, uh, who also writes amazing kernels. So with that, I'll drop Andrada's Twitter in the chat if, any, if in case anyone wants to follow her. And you can, of course, connect with her on Kaggle as well. Uh, she's currently a data scientist at Indava, but she does a lot of community stuff. So you can probably also catch her at a Weights and Biases live stream or she's always, always on Twitter sharing her stuff. So definitely check that out. Um, Andrada, please. Uh, share, please share your recipes with us and please tell us how you go about creating all of this awesome stuff today. Thank you so much for having me again. <laughs> People are going to <laughs> get very bored, but thank you so much. Uh, I hope this will be at least interesting <laughs> as it is for me usually. So I'm going to just go ahead and share my screen and we are going to we got this in the YouTube chat, so everyone's really excited. Uh, someone ah, said we have oh. a data scientist version of Emma Watson. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. So let's not keep people waiting. So I'm going to share my screen. Uh, okay. So, Sanya, you can talk to me through this process just because I don't want to hear my voice, <laughs> only my voice all over. So you can ask questions or... What the hell are you doing there and stuff like that? Okay, so uh, full disclosure. I know about uh, the competition that Martin has put out. I am one of the judges, but I haven't, like, besides the fact that I have read this page and I have looked at this data set just in this format, like in the Kaggle view, and I also went ahead, of course, and upvoted some, <laughs> some kernels. Mm -hmm. Uh, I haven't done anything. So cross my heart and hope to die. I, I, it's, this is new notebook and we are gonna, like, we are gonna get started. Okay. So do you, Sanya, maybe you can, do you want to also know stuff like colored skins and everything? Yes. Or yes. we are just gonna, oh, yes. Please, tell friend. us everything. And and for tell some us. context for the audience, I uh, had requested and order that we'll maybe do a live stream and sh on, on an unseen data set that I'll just reveal to her when we go live. But uh, since the awesome competition is live, I asked her to join this one. And that's that's what she means. So we, it's it's she hasn't worked on worked on this data set, which of course changes things once you once you've taken a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is kind of the rough process I'm gonna go through. It's gonna get, it's gonna be messy. It's it's never very very clean, but you're gonna see it's it's gonna hopefully it's gonna come up <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is first name this notebook and let's see hidden. I've never done live coding, mm -hmm. so we'll see how this goes. Hidden gems. Uh, and then I usually, this is actually what I do. I leave this one because I haven't looked at the data. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, here, I usually go about and say center. I usually like to center my images. Uh, I've uh, realized that it's much cleaner and easier to follow if they are in the center. And then I would say any source equals and then here I'm going to put some sort of cover usually that I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I'm doing my covers uh, in a second. And then I'm going to put again, let's say this thing. And see H1. H1 in here is going to be the title. And I'm going to say like again, hidden gems. And 
I have no idea still what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave it like this. Now, um, what I usually do is I copy myself because I'm doing such a great <laughs> job <laughs> that I sometimes, this is my top ticket in case anyone wonders. This is, this is my life. This is, <laughs> this is what makes me happy. Okay, so I'm usually going to go to my profile and take whatever notebook I have completed last. So in this case, it's going to be the H&M uh, competition. It's usually the latest because in, within the latest, I've done the most, like, for sure, I've done something more that I've done in the second to last notebook. And mm -hmm. this is the process. And I'm going to just take here and copy everything in the first... So here are the libraries. Let me go and say, so libraries. Because I usually use this around the same libraries or at least like the basics. Mm -hmm. So I have OS, garbage, 1DB. Uh, I'm going to leave everything. I'm going to take this one out. Um, warning CV. I, we are not working with images, pandas, numpy, we are not working. And here is Seaborn and some stuff from Matplotlib. I'm going to show you in a second from where it's coming from there. Uh, display HTML, I don't think I need this one. Okay, so I'm going to just erase this one. And then I have the warnings. Usually here is my own configuration for weights and biases. I can say here hidden gems, although I don't know if I'm going to use weights and biases in this one or at least in like right now. Uh, here, I usually like to use a color whenever I'm printing stuff because it pops a bit better in the eye. And here is usually my color scheme. So now. Uh, I'm going to run this. Sanyam, do you want me to change this color scheme? So this is from H&M. Do you, so should I go through that process? Or I have not? zero artistry sense, as you very well know. So okay. <laughs> I leave it to you. Okay. So um, for me, this is fun. And this is how I, how I, how I start. So let's see. I'm going to go here. And usually I go to color. And also, let's see, uh, we are doing hidden gems. So gems, color, scheme, what we can find. I'm thinking something very bright and maybe like something like this. So a little bit of a rainbow here. I wouldn't do a pinky. So mm, let's do this one. So something like this. Uh, let's see if we can find <laughs> Google. We go, you will think I'm going shopping, but I'm actually not. <laughs> so You'll I have think I'll will... dance tomorrow. <laughs> so let's see if I can save my image. Let's see, save. And then I'm gonna take color picker from image image color picker and use your image uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. where did i download it in this here yeah so let's i don't know let's have one um i'm gonna take this one just because i like it so I'm going to erase these. I usually go about and put you like more than uh, at least six, I would say. So at least six colors. So actually, I like this one better. And then... Hmm. So let's do six so you don't bore everybody to death. So, okay, I'm gonna do, so I did the D3. I'm gonna do some pink. 
And then let's see. Let's take this. Okay. So, oh, they look very. So, see, this is where it's kind of like it's a back and forth process. So, I would actually maybe keep this one here for the moment and have these colors as well. And depending on the graph, for example, if there are three bars, I would use something like this or something like this because these colors look, would look a little bit better or kind of diagonal than just having one pretty random. Okay, so I'm gonna, let's see, 96. Okay. Okay, so I did everything. And now what I'm gonna actually also do is I will come here and get all my helper functions. Precisely this one, show value on bars. I'm using this almost all the time, like in all my notebooks. Um, so I'm gonna take this one and put it here as well. And say here, uh, helper. Cool. Yeah, let's see if I can also. Hmm. Yeah, so let's put this one. <laughs> okay. So uh, the first thing will be to kind of understand the data. So uh, meaning the, the data set that um, Martin put, has put here. So I'm just gonna say data frame equals pd that with CSV. And I'm gonna read the data frame. So let's explore it a little bit. So we have the volume. Well, first of all, just to do a sanity check. So we already know, and here is also where I would come in here and put, I don't know, for example, helpful notes. Because whenever I go back, I can also, and if anybody reads my notebook, they don't really need to go through and understand the, the, what I'm printing or what I'm plotting. They can also read the helpful notes and be like, oh, okay, this is, this is the, the overall big idea. So what we already know is we had 100 uh, episodes uh, from Martin. And in each episode, he put three notebooks uh, that were like hidden gems, right? So we know that this is why we have 300. So 100 episodes multiplied by three, three notebooks, we get uh, 300 uh, observations. And then we'll have the date uh, where they were published. The link form, I would guess this one is where he put the, like within the Kegel discussions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have like these beautiful notebooks. Oh, Parul. Hello, Parul. <laughs> uh, here and then the comments and everything. So this is like the link, the, the actual link. Sorry. And then we have the Twitter link because he also posts on Twitter. And then the link to the notebook, the author, title, the review, author name, which is like, I guess, the name displayed on the Kaggle profile, author Twitter. OK, there are some not applicable there. LinkedIn and notes. So. I already know the shape and this is where I would go print and then I would say the data set has um, size of and I would say they have that shape and here comes color dot start plus and then plus color dot and I think and they print like in a in whatever color you want really i chose this greenish um i was thinking of emerald's kind of uh color so uh it has this shape now let's see df that is na dot sum so 
not all authors have a Twitter account or a LinkedIn account, and there are some notes that, oh, most of the notes are not any. What did he write in these notes? Okay, so let's let's find out. So DF data frame notes. That is an A. Uh, oh, we didn't do a lot cool. Oops. Uh, that let's say notes. <clears throat> Okay, so this week's episode is a special edition to celebrate the amazing milestone. Oh, okay, so he kind of pointed out a few special times within, I guess, um, the length of time he has been posting and some special editions, like it's this one. So it, we have like the 20th episode here, amazing milestone, 5 million signups, and so on. Okay, so I don't think this is going to go really into the EDA part. Hmm. Good. So, <clears throat> I don't know, what, what should we do? So here usually comes the, like, the, the actual questions. So we can, first of all, look at... So just by looking at this data set, I am actually curious to see, uh, first of all, if we have author Kaggle. So if the uh, Kaggle authors are uh, unique. And it seems it, they are not. Let's say set index. So there are 231 rows meaning that we have a few authors that were mentioned more than more than one time. The data beast is awesome. He he had won the chai competition. Who? The data oh. ah the data beast. Let's Ram look. Ramashankar. Yeah, let's spy on everybody <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> I am guessing actually we can look at so who the okay so Let's see. We have DF, DF, the author. Hello. If I'm gonna start speaking Romanian, I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's like, okay. So let's see. Let's see one notebook. So we're gonna select notebook. Let's see this one. Oh, what? Why? This is weird. Um, why is this happening? Yeah, that's the, the first link is the chai competition and everything. Mm, but why? Oh, the, the, it wasn't going to oh. be the link. That's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. Jupyter thing. If you, it, it truncates values and if you click on those links, they don't open. They are trying to Scary. sabotage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they know I'm live here and I'm kind of nervous. And they were like, oh, let's make fun of her. Good. Uh, understanding. Oh, so no, let's go to the, so making perfect chai and other tales. Let's see this one. Because I'm actually curious about this one. Um, oh, and they still, this is weird. I would guess that every time they get, um, mentioned within a hidden gems they would kind of arrive or at least get to 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 gold medal but i guess it's it's not the case this is a, actually a pretty good uh question to be asked okay so oh i'm gonna do some, some shameless promotion for you sunny i'm here <laughs> you don't have to do it well, I kind of, I, I already clicked on it. So YouTube homepage to see video. So what's this about? He, uh, we hosted the chat competition, if you remember, and he analyzed uh, the podcast's <sighs> data set. So he went ahead and even created those awesome visualizations you saw above. He's like designed those and did feature engineering, really fancy uh, stuff. And if you scroll to the bottom, 
he created a report as well so like a executive report oh my god it's a lot of work here whoosh i love the insights like uh, i love it oh wow oh and he is the um, plotly plotly is amazing but i find it very it's very difficult for me to wrap my mind i was actually well we're going to might be doing some um cool word uh, clouds as well okay so the report is at is at the end the end i think or... yeah if i remember correctly versus i don't know i can oh i guess that that that's the one and it's on canva oh my god like <laughs> i shouldn't mention this notebook too like it's actually amazing yeah so if you don't use canva you should use canva i'm using canva for almost everything uh especially my schemas and the like the the covers and everything canva is amazing and it's free and you can use whatever you find on the internet and like i would highly highly recommend it this is amazing i'm going to actually leave it here because i want to take a little bit of time to mm -hmm. properly read it okay so uh the database i'm wondering if he thought of like the beast from how how is he called from youtube i haven't watched one of Mr Beast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's he's the data beast. Yeah. Like it's uh, Rob Mula with the medallion stallion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we 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 lost the we lost our track. Good. So uh, actually we've noticed that there are a few people that are actually mentioned more than once and we can do a pretty cool graph with this information as well. And I would guess, I don't know, let's see, top 15, top 30. Oh, wow. So there are reset index. So I'm going to do something like this. <clears throat> I am going to say this is, how should we call this? Um, author. So I'm naming a new data frame and I'm saying something like this, author count. Um, so I am, I'm planning to do two things. So first of all, I want to print everybody. So actually I'm going to do that columns equal. I'm going to do author Kaggle and then uh, count. Sorry if I'm clumsy. Like I haven't, like I've never done this, so I'm sorry. Um, and then I'm gonna say if count is greater than one. So there are quite a few people. Oh, I'm here too. It's so cool. So, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say author Kaggle that values. So first I want to print everybody. And I'm going to say um, list. No, I'm actually, I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm going to say print um, all Keglers that were mentioned more than once. Cool. I'm gonna also do, oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do like, let's see, top. This is gonna Be 
basically the very easy way would be like this. It is cheating also, but yeah. Um, so I've printed everybody here in order. So they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be showing. Like for example, if you want to check who has been with the car, oh, it's Karnika here. Oh, okay. So sorry. And now I'm gonna do the actual plot. Now the plotting part, the the basics are usually the same. Like there's no really a very like sophisticated way, for example, to do a bar plot. However, I am trying in every notebook to add, if I'm interested within the IDA part, which here I am, to kind of add something interesting, like I did uh, in the birds competition when I added birds. Uh, I also like I'm usually playing with the color scheme if it's uh, like ocean about ocean water dolphins I'm gonna use blues and stuff like that here I might put gems uh, on different like bars I will I will see but first of all let's and I'm actually gonna go ahead and see so here I have a bar which is already done and I'm just gonna take everything from here. And I don't put it here, I usually put it a little bit below because I'm not gonna use everything. It depends on how it's gonna, it's gonna look. Now, the size of the plot, I usually leave it like as is, um, 25 to be kind of the, the maximum length of uh, width of the, of the notebook. And then I usually, uh, no, let's go and put the bar first to see how the data looks. So I'm going to use author count. And then, um, Sanyam, how do you want? Do you, would you like to see the bars? I usually like to see them on the left, like to go like horizontally. Uh, yeah, exactly. Should we should we do that too? I don't do that because I forget the parameter and then like I go to find it and then, then <laughs> I feel stupid because the axis invert or like the, the plot disappears. But <laughs> let's let's do that. I don't think okay. you'll, you'll face that issue. I don't think so. I will see. Okay, so I don't have uh oh well I have an axe, so this is this is my axe, and uh, for the palette, I'm gonna leave. Colors is not defined. Of course, colors is not defined. I have my colors. Uh, how? Oh, actually, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use this because it's gonna be more than. Hmm. Like I don't know how many. Okay, so th they are gonna be quite. Uh, quite a lot. Oh. Ah, one second, because I didn't do. So here is everybody. But I want only the people that are uh, have more than one uh, mention. So I'm gonna say here author equals author count two two, and I'm gonna say like this. And then here I'm just gonna put author of author Kegel. Let's see. Yay. Okay, now, uh, okay, so this is like the very basic plot, how it gets out from uh, from Seaborn. Now, I will make it a little bit longer, let's see, 15, just to have a little bit of space, 18. Okay, so something like this for us to be able to, to properly see everything. And now I'm just gonna take step by step and I'm gonna plot so first of all the title and let's see um Kegler's add more than one connection size 22 weight bold so I usually um I I I usually play with this, but the weight I leave it bold because 
I feel like it's it looks cooler. You can also change the color, for example, but it's quite tricky to change the color to the actual title because then you need to be very careful so that you don't have a lot of a bunch of colors thrown at you mm. when you look at the at the actual plot. Because I've tried, I really tried making a peacock out of my charts, really? and it, yeah, yeah, it doesn't look great. <laughs> like you, you, you don't understand anything. So keep it like try to make it if you want colorful, but just keep it simple so people can actually understand whatever you are trying to show here. So uh, we, I'm gonna make page four. Let's see. Okay, characters that had more than one mention. Oh, okay. And now uh, here I'm showing an image, which we're not going to do here. This one and the, actually these, okay, are very, very important and I usually use them too. So show values on bars. Uh, I usually, so this is, I think it's uh, horizontal. So let's see. Show the actual values. I don't know why. They are so far off. So horizontally, yeah. And let's see. see. Usually play with this a little bit. I don't know why this is. This is so weird. This never happened to me. It's a it's a great time <laughs> for this to happen. <laughs> good uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna figure this out so plt so the label y label it's kegler name i'm gonna switch this one and then the x label i actually don't want any x label because you already know um from the from the title what this is all about then the x ticks i don't need them anymore because I'm showing the values on bars here. And then the white ticks, yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger and see how this is gonna show. Oh, and also like you need to put, what's this called in English? Like uh, a dot and a comma, semicolon, semicolon. jinx, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's the, all the messy stuff won't show. I'm also going to print because I need a little bit of space between what I'm printing and the plot. And this is starting to come together. The last thing I will do as a copy is I'm going to do this. So this is very, very clean. Like as you've noticed, all the lines have Let's take a look at this one again. Uh, all the lines, like the border of the plot have disappeared. And in my opinion, this is a game changer because you don't have to... to... It, it, it's a bonus information that you don't really need in, in, in this particular moment. Good. So now we are going to go to the good stuff. So let's see. But plot lib color Oops. and let's choose something because Seaborn has the same names for the color schemes as uh, matplotlib does so you can you can take a look at both I don't usually like the ones from Seaborn and this is why I'm coming here. So gems, I'm, I'm thinking maybe plasma, we can go with plasma, but I would also go with something like this because you want to have this color much more, I would think, uh, preeminent than this one to show kind of a decrease. So I really like this one. So, or this one. Mm. Let's see how we feel. Uh, bar plot. So I think, oh, palette, okay.
and I'm gonna put an R here, which means I need to reverse. So the light color comes in here, and then the very uh, intense color comes here. I didn't here. know this. Oh, I'm glad <laughs> you find found something interesting <laughs> today. Um, I'm really bad at I'm really bad at all of this, so everything is new to me. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, what I don't like here is this is too red, in my opinion, and we don't we aren't showing something which is faulty. We actually are showing something that's very very good, being mentioned more than once by Martin is amazing. So I'm thinking to move towards maybe a bluish or purplish color. I don't like this red one, so I would go ahead. I'm using this one, and let's see, RDPU. So it's reversed, R, D, P, U, and also R. Uh, this one looks a little bit better. Or maybe, yeah, I think this one is going to go. We're going to leave this one. Yeah. Uh, so something like this. Now, you can leave this graph as is, and it looks it looks good, right? It looks, it, it kind of gives the information that you already want. However, one second, I kind of want to increase this size 18. Uh, however, we can go a little bit further, I would say, because we have some information here. Uh, first of all, Jonathan, it's like a champion. <laughs> <laughs> so I would emphasize the fact that he has nine mentions and then the next guy co uh, comes, it's only at five. So it's four mentions between them, which is quite a big deal, like a big difference between these two. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would mention here that Jonathan uh, kind of, how is the, it's, it's an expression in, in English, Kicked the ball out of par the park? Yeah, or? yeah, knocked the ball out of the park, I think. Something like that, yeah. Um, I would emphasize... I've been in uh, US for three weeks, that's why I know all the phrases now. <laughs> <laughs> even, even I wouldn't otherwise. Sorry, please go on. You know all the slang and you can teach us. Yes. No, that's, that's amazing. Um, so what I'm thinking is maybe... We could do two things, I guess. We can put a vertical line here that would be dashed to show the difference between everybody else and Jonathan. And then we could also, I guess, add an arrow here, kind of going like this and say, Jonathan, has the most mentions out of all and maybe also add a diamond or something so do you like Sanya do you want me to do that or should we go further and try to because we have so much time and yeah. I'm trying to be do you want me to go to link uh, maybe the meta and see what we can do there or do you want me to perfect this graph what do you think uh... I'll, I'll ask the audience. We have like 23 people. So like I look at the first three replies from okay. people because I'm, I'm fascinated to check out both of them. I'll, I'll wait for one reply. You're replies. too kind. Uh, There's also a 30 second delay. So between the time you speak and then they hear and then they write back, it takes like one minute. It took me a really long time to figure this out. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> this is just bots watching the video. No one is here. <laughs> why why is anybody talking to me um um so the first reply says continue continue uh, okay i was actually i i was really sure you're gonna say something else so <laughs> good uh continue uh good 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 so th what i said the first thing is right like put um 
vertical line. Yeah, vertical line on there. Uh, I'm actually thinking to work on this notebook during the weekend. So you're going to see more probably everything. A lot of changes. A lot yeah. more changes soon. Um, and additional stuff that maybe I don't get to, to do in here. Just start your own channel so that you don't have to come on my stupid shows to show us. No, don't say, don't say, don't say that. I I watched Rob doing something. Rob is on another level. He's he has like a background and he lights and I'm oh <laughs> I'm scared. I have graphic cards, just not here, just not at the Vitsin Bass office. Okay, so I'm gonna go where everybody goes. I don't. I I've used this, but I don't. I don't try to remember. Uh, so this is why I usually Google everything. So only one line may be specified. So how? I, I'm I'm looking at something like this. I would like something like this, not too too much points. It looks weird. I don't like this one. Um, so which is two, three, four. So the fourth would be this one, I think. No, this one. Full height. No, it's this one. Okay. Let's see what will happen. Many times I, I'm like tired and I realize I'm just copying the like messy code from the question and I forgot to scroll. <laughs> like, I, I why, have why, do I, why do I even code in Python? I, I don't need that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have no idea why they are it looks complicated and I don't understand why. Axe line full height I guess you can do something like Ah, uh, you specify, I think you specify here the dashes. No, let's do something like this. So I am going to do something very, very simple. So X is going to be around six, let's say. And then y mean is going to be at zero. And then y max is going to be at one second, 45. So let's put 44. Color is going to be black at, the fir at first. And I don't want any label. So I'm going to delete this. Let's see. Oh, OK. So we, we've done something. We are going somewhere. Uh, <laughs> this is why I like data visualization. I instantly know if I'm messing things up. I think I like it here because I want to do also the arrow and add the text here. And I'm going to put the style. It should be something like this. Let's see. OK, good. And line width. I want to be, let's say, three. Three. Hmm. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my gems and choose something. What goes with purple? I would go, let's see what this will do. I'm trying not to make everything pink because <laughs> so this is this is what I'm actively trying. So let's 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 leave it uh, orangish. And then so we we've created the the break within the the plot. And then when I gonna what I'm gonna do is I think it's plt that text and let's see x y s. So x y s 
X is going to be around six, seven, seven point five, seven point five. And then Y is going to be at around, let's see, 25. And then S, I guess, is the text. I need to, yeah, the string. I'm going to say, author Kego. Jonathan. I bet he's sneezing like crazy now <laughs> because we are mentioning him. <laughs> like, <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In Indian culture, uh, also, we have that saying. Uh, and I'm gonna, what's his profile? I'm trying to see if I can author LinkedIn. He doesn't have Twitter. Oh, I don't have the link to his profile. Well, I guess we can also do some spying, like with Jonathan. He's from California, Palo Alto. So sunny. I'll meet uh, him after the live stream. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, kidding. do you I'll, think? I'll out. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Oh, I, you fooled mm -hmm. me. Do you think he would be upset if I would take his? profile from here and put it within my my chart do you think because it would be awesome to have his like that's an awesome idea yeah yeah this just came to me <laughs> it didn't it wasn't planned but instead of saying jonathan is blah, 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 i'm actually thinking to to take him. oh i thought you would embed an iframe Oh no, I'm gonna put in the okay. plot. Like, mm -hmm. huh? Oh no, no, no. So, do yeah, you... more, bigger challenge for you, <laughs> maybe for another live stream. Do, how, how, but I don't know how, what you're saying. Like, to embed to... the web page is what I meant. Because I, I've seen someone do it on Kaggle. Just find out. Embed web page onto. Notebook. Let me see if I can. I've never done this. This is interesting. Oh, it's quite. You can try this. Okay, let's see. Ah, but this is in the markdown. Yeah, so inside the plot, it will be really hard. No, it's not hard. I can show you. I can. I we can make both both ways. Let's see. Hello, nothing happened with height. So I don't think source that work. I remember this thing. If you want to copy from there, I put it in the uh, StreamYard chat. So if you go to where, where, ah, oh, here. Oh, hello. <laughs> If you go to the sixth section of this. Uh, the sixth section? Yeah. What? Why did you? Ah, oh, okay, good. Like this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I should have closed Teams no, work. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you scroll a bit down, uh, you'll see they had embedded. It's not scrolling. Okay. Let's um, see. One second. Yep, yeah, that's that's the thing I was pointing out. I think this was an interactive table that they had embedded something like that. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, okay. So this is what you were referring to. Something so, like this inside the plot is what I meant. <laughs> inside, the, I, uh -huh, I don't know if inside the plot is going to work uh, like this. What I was thinking is just put 
his image here, mm -hmm. append it to the to the actual plot, and then build the Makes arrow. Sense. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this picture. I might need to uh, create a data set for this, but I'm gonna say like Jonathan. And then I'm gonna come here and add upload. And I'm gonna put Jonathan. And then I'm gonna say hidden gems data set. And then create. And then I'm gonna go to one of my notebooks. I don't know if in this one I have, oh, I have, I have. Well, good, very good, Andrada. Insert image. So it was. A function that I was using that I'm going to find in a second. So I'm going to take this picture. Zoom. XY box is going to be, so here I put 92 and 11. Here I'm going to put 7.5 and 25. Let's see what this gives us. And on the ax. And all I have to do now is go to here and find the actual insert image. Hopefully, I have all the libraries in here. And I'm going to put them here. Oops. So what I would need is the path to the image, uh, how uh, big should be the image, the parameters and uh, the axe where we want it. Let's see. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, what I will do is I will make it a little bit smaller, 36, and I would want it to maybe a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. And then let's see eight. Am I gonna cut the image? No. It just zooms out of the graph. Uh, what? It felt like it zoomed out of the graph. That. No, I put it a little bit to the okay. right. Okay. And then I want it as big as possible though. Okay, and I would put, uh, let's see. Okay, let's leave it like this for the moment. And then the last thing I wanna do is, um, I want to create an arrow, which might be <laughs> very annoying because sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, but I will try. And I think I know where I have used something like that. You dropped one rank? What happened? Who passed you? <gasps> now? Ah, no. No, no, no. I'm, I'm on six. Okay. It, it will take me a little bit of time to get to, <laughs> to five. Number one win. Chris needs to take a break, <laughs> a very long break. <laughs> I met him, and he didn't sound like he'll take a break. Anytime, so. <laughs> no, <laughs> then I need to step up my game. Uh, so something like this, I'm thinking, and I'm going to look, how did I, oh, the arrow. So I have here the style. I'm going <sighs> to... Print everything. So this is the vertical line. This is the plot. 
And here I'm going to draw the arrow. And here is the image and everything. And I'm going to draw the arrow. The style is simple. Had this, we're going to play with a little bit later. Uh, arrow style is going to be the style. Color, let's put my colors and leave zero for the moment. Um, arrow patches. So I don't know if I have patches imported. I have. Very good. Fancy arrow patch. And now I'm going to need to look how did I do this. So X is going to be. Okay. Uh, this part. And it's. 18 oh it's x and y and then x and y again and then the radius is how arched we want it to be i hope i'm not saying stuff wrong so let's see we want the tail to be here so this will gonna be around 7.56789 so around eight let's see and the Y, where did I put this one? At 28, let's put 25. And then this one, I want it to be at around 8.5 because I want it to be going in that direction, maybe 8.7. And then this one is going to be two because we want the Y to be zero. It's, it's one, two, three, and so on. Uh, let's see what this will do. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I will move the the top of the arrow a little bit to the, to the right. You should change the color to, I think he's a master, to the Kaggle. <gasps> ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, yeah. So one second. Uh, nine point two, and then I want one point eight. No, too far. Nine. Okay, so something like this. And the notebooks, do you think this color is okay? I think does so. it match? I think so. Okay, we can copy that. Mm -hmm. Where's my up uh, color? I think it's a little bit too reddish, yeah. but I'm not gonna. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's not go there because we are gonna stay 15 more minutes for me to find the perfect orange. <laughs> oh God! This is awesome. Um, I, uh, sorry, do, do you have stuff to add? Because I wanted to point out to be respectful of your time. We're at the end of the mark, live stream mark. So just just point. Oh, out. if you want, we can like I'm 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 good. We can go. 15, 20 minutes, or if whatever, it's okay with you. If it's okay whatever with you. you want. Uh, I'm going to also add the text. Just it's, it's a little bit too weird to leave it like this, but say something like uh, mm, full name. I don't know. He has he <laughs> hasn't been active <laughs> in a long time, <laughs> and we are <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> um, we can tag him on LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, Jonathan has the most, is the most mentioned. Is Martin's favorite Kaggler? <laughs> is Martin's favorite hidden gem. And then let's put a gem on it. Good. And we need an X and a Y. X, I want it to be so, uh, I, I think I'm, I'm going to put the text here. 
So again, seven, I'm, I'm gonna match uh, the image and see where this goes. 7.8 and then the Y is gonna be, let's see, 30. And then the S is our string. No, so we'll need to move it. So the text is here and kind of move the entire graph. So we need to take it a little bit to the left. A little bit to the left and lower. Okay, more to the left. Oh God. Six. Hmm. Ah. I'm so sorry, but this is this is the process. <laughs> See the process. This is what we want to learn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going lower, which is not okay. I need to go like this. Oh, we are getting there. We are getting there. Why is and, the emoji not showing up? I don't know, and it's Matt it's Cody. annoying. It's very annoying. I'm gonna. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to keep it because it's a probability when we are star. an asterisk star. in there, like, uh, like just this. a normal star. Yeah. Like just um, like this? Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave the gem just because I think when uh, I'm going to commit the notebook, it okay. might show. Okay. If not, I'm going to erase it, of course. Um, what I, so the last thing I want to do, I wanted to move, so 6.4, let's say, to move it a little bit to the left. Now it's okay. And 33 or 32.5. Okay, and um, I want also maybe to put the same color and uh, I forgot. Okay, so here, color and then size. Hmm. This is 18, let's see how this goes. I don't like it. <laughs> Do you like it? Should I leave this like it like this? I don't like it. Uh, your call. I think it's okay. I have it's zero okay. artistic sense. Okay. And uh, okay, so what I usually do, so we've done the libraries, helpful functions, understanding the data. We have seen these, and then now we've done this plot. So the thing is, this is this is what makes this stuff very interesting in my opinion is that there are only a few more lines of code from the average plot to something that looks very fancy and it looks like wow you've been working on it a little bit more but it's actually it's extremely simple and once you get the hang of it you can create charts like this all the time not so, me other people <laughs> maybe not if you me. like it Maybe some people don't don't like this stuff at all. Um, I like it. I just can't do it. Uh, so let's see data frame. We can also we can try to to find one more one more insight. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking to link to the meta kickle mm -hmm. and maybe look at also because we've looked. Yeah. We've you looked know, at, yeah, go ahead. I, I had two ideas that I just realized. Mm -hmm. Does Martin give them more followers? Or does Martin give them more words? Because you can see user follows as well, right? I'm not sure if it's like historically uh, shown. It's yeah, yeah. So it's like when they follow them. So like if Martin shares your work, do you become popular on Kaggle? Hmm. Okay. Or do you get gold medal? That's another one. Or uh, different direction. How many versions do these hidden gem authors create? Is there any correlation? Like, do they does everyone have ten versions, twenty versions, something like that? 
Okay, so th these are all multiple great ideas. I can, so does Martin give you, influence make you famous? Be how famous? You are on Kaggle. You are. Just, just you are. Let's 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 keep it like that. Um, does do the notebooks have multiple uh, more versions than on average? Let's say more versions than the average notebook on Kaggle. And you said something. Uh, um, you said something. Uh, gold medals. Yep. Does Martin make you a grandmaster? Does Martin? Yeah, it's a good way to put it. Make does Martin make you a grandmaster? Increases the the amount really, but the quality, let's say, of your medals. Should we pay Martin? <laughs> This work. So these are all great questions. What, which one do you want to tackle now? Because I, I, these are going in multiple directions, and this is why I'm asking. Because I, I, I would say let's do one more, not all of them, because we are gonna stay here until a long, a long time. Sanya, I don't hear you. Sorry, I muted myself and I didn't realize that. Um, <laughs> I'm not in my chai office. I don't have my fancy button setup that I can press. So, which in my office doesn't have that setup. I was asking the audience to say what they want uh, because yeah, yeah. Uh, we we are waiting. I'm gonna sip thirty seconds. My 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 <laughs> my chai. What chai are you having? Oh, it's ginger and orange. I think yeah, ginger orange? and orange. Yeah, yeah, ginger and orange, something. something. That's, that's a different combination. I love ginger. I love ginger. Uh, so this is why I like Sounds it. Sounds like an ensemble. Ginger and orange. <laughs> we don't have true tea, I think, in Romania. But we call it chai. Like, chai. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chai. I, I have not had chai for three weeks now. I'm sick. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna break. <laughs> uh, again, for for audience, we're waiting on you to decide which question should we answer, and we're just having fun in the meantime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least start. What we know is that we have, so we have the date, so w the the moment where. Uh, it has been like it has been posted on the hidden gems. So what we would need is we can do the first one. No one has replied it, but just do. No one has replied. No, they are getting bored. I okay, so. how famous you are? So say user user followers. I have an ID, a user ID, a following count, and a creation. What's this? Sorry, I will um, run and grab my charger. I'm I'm not used to WNB office. I have chargers in all my rooms. Okay, go no, go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna do stuff here.
I'm back. Sorry. We are good. The thing is, oh, but this is very weird. No, no, it's okay. Mm, okay. So what I've done here is I've read the user mapping and the followers, and now I'm trying to figure out um, how many Okay. One second. I I I'm trying to think and also Oh, okay. So the thing is I I don't think the followers. So here is the creation date. I don't know what creation date is this uh, although um I think that creation of the account maybe and then the following but I don't have the following on days for mm. each user. Okay. Uh, just, can yeah. can we check if that is the creation date? Like, let's just go to one ID and see if the year matches. Yeah, let's merge everything. PD dot merge. I'm gonna merge followers with user followers. Yeah, with users on id and let's see followers that shape that we have okay on id user nine one six eight oh so there are some IDs that don't have how equals. There are some IDs that don't have followers. Mm. I don't know why is that. We can look at them. Nine one six eight six five. I I guess. Oh, they don't have like anything, but we can look at, yeah, we can look at, so we have Rebecca. Rebecca has 67,000 followers. Am I reading this right? How is this possible? How is this possible? Let's look at Rebecca. Who is this person? Who is this person? <laughs> we want to meet her. <laughs> Who's this Kaggle influencer? Uh, <laughs> Rebecca. Oh, no. I think it's... No. Rebecca 8. United Kingdom. So what's that then? It's a bug. Is... So creation date is 8... So 2018. Joined nine years ago? No. 2000, so register date is 2013. Creation okay. date, I don't know what is. Isn't, did we merge, we merged followers, right? Yeah, so I took the user, it should have been users, but whatever, which is uh, the unique ID. Mm -hmm. Username, display, register date, and performance tier, which I guess it's um, the the level, uh, grandmaster, master, and so on. Mm -hmm. And I merge it with followers. Followers being the ID, and then the user ID is oh, I think it's this one with this one. Ah, this is so weird. Okay, okay, okay. So I need to merge ID from user with user ID from followers, right? I didn't do that. So left on, ooh, left on 
followers and followers is user ID. But it's still like, what's this? <laughs> what's this? Mm. Okay. And write on. And just the simple ID, I think, because the user, it's a simple ID. 9168, okay. Anthony, hello, Anthony. Anthony joined in 2010. Oh, and he has the following in 2017, 18, 19, 20, 20. Should we look at meta cable to see what does that column mean? That what? At meta cable, I think it might have description um, if you go to the data set page. Yeah. Let's look. <sighs> so we should have user followers and it's in No, I don't see it. This data set has a low uh, ranking because they don't have column descriptors. They get that warning every time they go to this page. <laughs> Anyone who's created this data set or data set would know you get a usability number. And if you don't have <laughs> column descriptors for every single column, you get that complaint. Yeah. Um, so we don't. Let's. Uh, this is annoying. But Anthony. Okay, let's check Anthony. Oh, hello. Okay, at least let's see how many followers he nine four six, which is none of these numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another mystery of itself. It's another mystery. Let's, I don't know. Let's, um, what were the other questions? So does Martin make you on Grandmaster? Do the notebooks have more versions than the average notebook on Kegel? Let's do this one because it looks much simpler. We can also I, end here because uh, if, if you want, in case. Uh, however, however you want. I don't want to, I don't want to make this very long. No, no it's, well. it's totally up to you. I just want to be respectful of your time. <laughs> so should, should we go further or should we not? How do you feel everybody and people will keep watching but... <laughs> <laughs> in the background? <laughs> okay, so let's let's try with this one. And if this one doesn't work, well, it was fake. Um, so Meta Kegel, let's see. I'm gonna erase these things. So what we'll need is the notebook. We have the link to the notebook. And what we'll need is the number of versions before and after. So, petition data sets, kernel version, kernel sources, kernel versions. Let's see. Author. So, we have the ID, author, creation, version, title. He, he, he. <laughs> This is so fun to browse through this. Version number, 134, okay. Let's change. Yeah, okay, but how do we, let's see this. So we have, for sure. We have kernel versions, and then we have our kernels, and I'm gonna just copy kernels. Okay, I think I have. But be, no, the kernels should have a, like a unique account, uh, a unique ID. It shouldn't be 
based on the user as well, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know because we don't have <laughs> description. <laughs> Come on. have the kernel ID. And medal, medal award date. So this is these are kernels. And then versions. I'm trying to see so these are the versions and I'm trying to link the ID and see if I can find the link to the notebook, right? Mm -hmm. Because we don't have in 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 our data frame, we have only the link to the notebook. Kernel tags, languages. Oh, let's see, I'm, I have ID, parent kernel version ID, for parent, parent forum. They current wallet URL slug. Oh, but this is not a link. Is it a link though? If I put so I have this no, I don't think it's a link. Do you happen to know if within any of these kernels is a link or how can I link to... I'm not sure. Hmm. This is very annoying. I'm very sure it's possible because um, one of the people that already got a prize within this competition. I can't remember. Leonie? Yeah, I can't remember where is the data set actually. Hmm. Um, she, for sure. I'm very sorry for that. I remember when I joined Kaggle that I was so astonished by heads or tails. It was incredible. He was one of my first, very first mentors onto this path of exploratory data analysis. Yeah, so Leonie already I think she already did some sort of. <laughs> oh my God. Do you see this? Data yeah. set no longer available. I, I am they don't very. don't want you to find, find out. Yeah, should I message her? Because <laughs> how, how did she. How did. Oh, she has a LinkedIn. I'm going to I'm going to message her. Not now, but I'm going to message her mm -hmm. because I have no idea how she I've browsed through her notebook and I'm sh very sure see she um joined the data with uh the Martin's data set. Yeah, so I think we are going <laughs> to 
We're gonna need to put a stop. I'm so sorry. I really wanted to. Uh, I don't want you to find out. That's that's what's going on. Okay. Yeah, so let's put a halt okay. and I'm gonna look into it and by Saturday, Sunday, I guess I will post or I, I guess I can also do a commit and share whatever I worked on. Please do that. As of I'd, now as well. I'd do you think? Saying. Yeah. So then I'm gonna save. And I make it public for anyone that wants to <laughs> look at this. I'm gonna also make an image. Oh, so one last thing because I didn't I didn't have the time. So I use Canva for all 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 my Kegel covers. You're gonna find here covers covers as old as I think two years. Uh, sometimes I'm making a combination and they are very it, it, it depends what inspires me really uh, or sometimes I'm just making see I I was thinking something like this but then I moved something like this so it's it's a bunch of stuff or sometimes I make something very simple just because I like this picture and I use this one yeah so usually here what I would do is I would look for example gems and I would inspire myself maybe do something like this on the entire cover and lower the transparency and put mm -hmm. the text here or i would do something a little bit more like simple and then i would put gems all over depending on i don't like this one but depending on what i find and what i also find on google so this one is actually pretty nice too so it's a very iterative process until I find something and I look at it and it looks good. And mm. this is when I just save it. So if you want to get get a, get a play with it, it's Canva is amazing. And this is where I usually uh, make my, my covers too. Yeah. Awesome. Uh Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, is did you commit the notebook? I'd like to share that link with everyone. Um, yes, I did. Uh, I'm gonna give you the link in the chat. Oh, so I have the link. Let me highlight that. This might be hard for people to find, so I'll just highlight your Kaggle profile link. On your Twitter, your Kaggle. Uh, go there, find find the latest notebook. Sort by latest, and that's how you can find the notebook. Unless Andrada over the weekend publishes another notebook, which he may or may not, so I, I can't say. Um, if Leoni wants to share her secrets with me, I would be grateful. Yeah. I'll also quickly mention your Twitter, where Andrada is really active. She is active on LinkedIn as well. Uh, just look up her first name. That that'll take you to her profile. She's she's very well known on the platform, so you don't need to even type her full name. I think. Um, any other things you want to mention? I I I don't I don't think so. I just looked at the notebook from Martin, and his data set is also also hidden or isn't available anymore so i think it's a bug with or something so maybe i can ask martin too how he has uh linked everything if leonie doesn't want to share <laughs> but I, i'm sure she she will be happy too yeah Leon is awesome uh yeah, awesome yeah. Th thank you so much and Dada again for doing another live stream uh one day we'll start saying no because i'll you'll, you'll be so troubled with my request <laughs> <laughs> then I'll keep asking because the audience enjoys learning from you so much. So thanks, thanks again for your time. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Th and thanks, thanks everyone for watching live or watching the recap. Uh, if you're watching the recap, I feel sad for you, but thanks for watching.